What's up, like YouTube? It's your boy back for Superstar, and today I'm gonna go pick up my friend Dom. Still waiting for him to make a uh, YouTube channel. Um, and we're going to play those to see what they got. I think he finna sell some clothes. Then we're gonna head to the mall, probably probably two malls, and see what they got. And then Final Lab Genetic Souls. We'll see. And then after that, I don't know. But first, I gotta lace up these right here. Had these for over a year, still dead stuck, you know. So I gotta lace these bad boys up, and we out. So I'll see y'all in a second. All right. So I don't know how much footage I got because um when I when I went to the mall well, after finding love and I went to the mall I just didn't really record I was actually trying to shop and it's weird shopping with like a camera in your hand and you can't really see what you get but finding love DTLR and Play Doh is in here too I got a steal um, I want to call it a steal but it was a deal so on some shoes that I've been wanting and then my true size 12 and a half it's hard to find. Well, um, they didn't have a box, so it is what it is. I'll show y'all that last. From Final Lab. Um, well, nah, never mind. I got this tracksuit in Lakers colors, you know. I'm a Lakers fan and everything. Now, this is a medium. I got this for $40, the top and the bottom. Um, this is a medium, but the pants fit. I haven't tried on the... The, um, the the jacket and this from East Bay so you so you know this is old you know back in the day East Bay had had the magazines and that's how you order stuff you know what I mean now you just go on the website but um so yeah East Bay tracksuit size medium um I don't know if I'm losing that much weight or I heard something. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm losing weight or the clothes. They just fit bigger back then. Pretty sure it's both. But um, I normally wear an extra large. So for this to be a medium and it fits me, I don't know. But um, it's raining outside, so I don't know if I'm gonna have any the B roll over the stuff. But I just wanted to show y'all. And then they had posted this on Instagram on what day was that? I don't know what day it was. But um, I DM them and I'm like, I need that. So I got this Scooby Doo shirt. Scooby Doo's my favorite cartoon of all time. My favorite superhero, well, hero, cause he ain't he ain't got superpowers. But yeah. Freak is that noise? So yeah, I got this Scooby Doo tee. Like I said. Um, I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear with this, but I'm pretty, if I still had the Scooby Doo LeBrons, the hazelnut joints, oh my god, I might have to go buy them shits again because them shits they match this shit perfectly. But um, yeah, if I can find that, find those shoes again, they'll be in the unboxing. <clears throat> now, on the DCLR, I showed you all these shoes last. From DTR, I got these staple shorts. They was on sale. 
they they said twenty dollars, but they were, but it was actually ten on oh, the staple right there. So yeah, and then I got these Puma pants. Now these these are large, and these were for twenty two. Well, not twenty two dollars, like twenty as well. So I just got these Puma track pants. So yeah, on the back it's a Puma. Like I love Puma's clothes. Like if you go in my closet. It's nothing but but a Puma joggers, and I still got some from like a year or two ago when they was doing that bait collab. But those joggers are not bait, but they got like the same kind of camo print on them. But anyway, um, matter of fact, I'm just gonna go grab them. These right here, these Puma camo joggers that I got from Ross for twenty dollars, like a long ass time ago. Get they got the. The gold Puma. Wait, where is it? Well, if it's showing up on camera, I can't. I can't see it right now. But yeah, so I still haven't worn these yet. I've been trying to get the black OVO 12s to wear with these, and just a black shirt. But I can't. I don't know. I found them one one day. And then I forgot to show y'all this on this side. I got the come on, man. the Puma right right there on the side too. Um, I got these Jordan 12s. They in okay condition. I mean, they not bad. They had them up for a hundred dollars. These the Jordan Twelve International Flights. I think they called International Flights. Now they uh, didn't have the box. They smell like cigarette smoke. The bottoms they are right. I think really the main flaw I seen was had like a scuff or something on the back. Maybe on the back. Right on the back. Uh, this one is like a little bit dirty. I don't know if you can see it because it's light, but yeah, other than that, and then the smell is terrible, man. Um, I seen a pair on GOAT size 12 for 170 with no box and basically the same condition, so I don't know. I mean, I wanted them when they came out, I think they still sit in the stores in, in some places, but I don't think that they're on sale, so um. If y'all think this was a good pickup for for ninety seven dollars, then I mean, let me, a comment down below. Um, if you don't think it was a good pickup for ninety seven dollars, then comment that down below too. So um, so yeah, this is my steel pickup of the day of the week. So and I had like an undefeated shirt that's white, blue, and red. I've been trying to find something to wear with it, but now now that I have those, I might just have to keep them just like wear that shirt. So I'm tired of having clothes in my closet that I haven't worn in like over a year. So, so yeah, if you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a, leave a dislike. Shout out to all my new trolls out there. Y'all know who y'all are. Yeah, subscribe, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend to subscribe as well because we're on the road to 1K. It's your boy, Bachelor Superstar, signing out. Y'all be breezy. All right.